Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome into my channel. This is Sherry. I thought I would do a quick, fun little um, craft with you today. It's a very cloudy day, kind of a drizzly-ish maybe day. Hopefully we'll get some rain. So perfect day to sit and do a little craft. I wanted to show you a four pocket envelope that I've made out of a nine by six. Well, I think it's technically nine by five and seven eighths maybe, but we'll call it six manila envelope. And I did make this to go into my colossal tome of concepts. And so the way it works is it's got a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, and you can use this as a pocket as well. So when I glue it down, I will glue all three sides so you can still slide something in here and you've got the other three. One, two, three, and four. So if you wanna see how I decided to make these, stick around, we'll get started. All right, so yeah, I was thinking about how I was gonna use these little envelopes, these manila envelopes. I like to make covers, journal covers out of these, um, and I think making some small covers would be fun with this maybe. Um, but for this particular project, we are just going, I'm gonna use my different glue this time. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and make a little, I'm gonna collage, I collaged it as you can see. Yeah, so, all right, well, thanks for joining me today. Again, welcome, welcome in. My name is Sherry, if you don't know me. If you are new, thank you for joining us. And if you are returning, as always, welcome back. Hoping to get another video out this afternoon. I think I mentioned on one of my previous videos, I'm not sure which one, um, that I got a beautiful kit um, that I wanna show you that I'm going to be making a winter journal with. I'm still waiting on some supplies to come from Amazon that I'll need to finish it up, but we're getting there. All right, so what I did with the other one is um, I'm gonna use, so we are going to just score this side since it's nine. I'm gonna flip my scoring thing over here. I'm gonna score this at four and a half because I've got it butted right up against the nine and I'm going to be folding it. Alrighty, where is it? Okay. Oh, and then I did also sew around it too. I just thought, I don't know. I like the way that finishes everything off. So decided to sew around it. So let's score at four and a half. So if your journals were a little bit bigger I guess or you could cut this down smaller and do it like this as well but on my page it fits better like this so that's how I'm doing this one okay so let's get that burnished so we gave that a score yeah so I took Max for a walk this morning and um yeah it's pretty cloudy out there I didn't think we were supposed to get any rain, but I was just looking at my watch a little bit ago and it's showing possibly some rain. So that would be nice. We need it. We're been in a drought and we haven't really had much in the way of moisture in a long time. So what I'm gonna do now is cut this end, this end isn't really going to matter right this second how much I cut it. This one I'm only going to cut just to open it. I'll do the same on either side, the same, so that I've still got this in the middle. So let's do that. I think I'll do about, I did on my other one, I did three quarters of an inch and that worked out pretty good. Let's do a half an inch. We can make this one. Just a skosh, give me a little bit more to cut there, okay. So there's that side and a half an inch on this side. Then what I decided to do so that this pocket would be, you could actually sort of have a layered pocket here. I decided, let's just double check yet, make sure everything's open. So this side I came in and cut down about 
can always take off all the, oops. Ooh, I gotta change this blade, guys. You know, I've said that before. Is that about the same? So this, this is gonna be just slightly smaller, but that's okay. So yep, that works out just the same. So we can put this away because we don't need it anymore. And all I did was go in and just start collaging basically here and here because you're not really going to see. It didn't matter. I didn't want to get into doing all that. So let's get a, and I'm just working with some old um, Christmas paper that I had left over some scraps. So I'm just going to take this and tear it down the length because that'll be just right. And uh, this was some of the um, scraps that wasn't cardstock. So I didn't really have a whole big selection of stuff, but I figured this would be good enough. It's just for the tome, so it's not like I really need it to be super duper anything, but we do want to try to get it straight <laughs> if we can. So y'all, I did not, did I film a little bit? I did film a little bit yesterday and then I was uploading my video. I'm still working on my Mac and just really, I was having some storage issues and stuff, but um, I, no, oh, that's not thick enough. So let's use this one. Yeah, I, um, I don't know why, but maybe you can tell me when I upload a video and I didn't used to have this happen, but it's been happening lately that um, it sets to private and not public. So I thought I had it uploading. And then when I went to check it later, it, it was all, you know, rendered and everything and set, but it was set to private. So I don't really know, quite know why it does that, but maybe you do. And if you do, you can, you can fill me in. This is slightly crooked, but that's okay. And we'll cut that little bit off on the end. So I just gave Max a chew stick to try to keep him occupied while I film this. I made one right before I started filming and he was a pretty good boy. And then it's like funny, as soon as I turn my camera on, he um, wants my attention. He's just extra that way. So yep, we went for a walk and he saw a lady jogging and he had to say hi to her because he has to say hi to everybody. So we had to stop walking and let her go by so he could approve her run. And I'm feeling much better today. I did not, so I started to say earlier, I didn't feel good yesterday. I had this stomach issue going on for weeks and Yesterday, I just had a really bad stomach ache, but it's much better today. So I don't know what that's all about, but we'll see. So I did make my bone broth and it turned out really good. I think I made some beef stroganoff last night for dinner and I put some of the bone broth in it and it really was good. So I think for lunch, it's, it's 11.30, so this is a real quick project, doesn't take very long. And you don't have to get fancy with the collaging because it just is what it is. I think I'll put some coffee dyed paper. Let's put that on here because it's light. So if you wanna write on it, you can. Um, yeah, so I think for lunch, I'm gonna go and warm up um, my bone broth and I'm gonna put a little bit of veggies in it. I have some frozen vegetables in the freezer because I'm trying to just kind of eat sort of light since my stomach's been touchy. So I figured the bone broth with a little bit of veggies and we're lucky Max left. I think he went to see what's going on in the living room. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. I flipped my mat over, did you notice? I scrubbed it clean earlier because it was really, really dirty. And um, so yeah, it looks much better on the other side. And then I just flipped this over so that I can have just sort of a, sort of a fresh start there, if you will. 
I know I've told you guys this before, but I am really excited about, um, here it comes, really excited about this new journal that I'm going to start. I can't wait to show it to you guys. It's going to be so pretty. As I said, I'm waiting on something from Amazon that's going to be part of my cover and still working that those details out. Two things from Amazon, some cardstock, white cardstock because I was out of cardstock, and um, another little order. So then I will, but I'm going to do a flip through this afternoon of my kit. I do want to show that to you guys. Got a lot of ideas for some fun kits. Um, roaming around in my head and I don't know why I just these are just so fun to make I haven't even been doing my planning videos you guys because you know my heart just isn't in it and if your heart isn't in it you don't have to do it and if one day I feel like doing it I will and I and I do but I just it's like okay what do I want to spend my time doing and I just want to spend my time crafting and playing and I don't think there's anything wrong with that is there I don't think so so like I said this isn't meant to be really decorative or beautiful and I'm not decorating this I'm just making it for our ideas journal that Dee Dee Farago was kind enough to come up with for us. I think it's a fabulous idea. That was a good tear, wasn't it? This, I just wanted something. And as I said, I don't have a lot of scraps thus far that are not cardstock, so my, um, scrap bin is fairly limited so we work with what we have right now as I, I'm already thinking about what kit I want to purchase and download next and guys I figured out how to back my digitals all by myself so I told my husband I was proud of myself with that I did go around and ink on the other one Just, just a little bit, not a whole lot, but just a little. Judge those little edges up a bit. All right, so that is the, that portion of our tour. So what I did was I just did a straight stitch right here, trying to come just as close to the edge as I can. Do a little, and I've got brown thread in, as you can see, or as you can see on the other thing. So I'm just coming real close to the edge since we want as much pocket space as we can get. Wow, that is close. About as close as I can get without being not on there. This I'm going to give myself a little room here because I'm going to zigzag up this way a bit. I need a little more room for zigzag. I could even save either one of these. This is a little more Christmassy paper. I could, oh, I want to straighten it out, but I'm right on the edge. Um, there we go. I could save this for even for next Christmas for a journal. Yeah, I could go one more. It's close, but I could go one more. Just again, coming right up the edge. We'll pop the other one in the tome, and then we'll be done. Go eat lunch, and I'll come back, and I'll do my kit video. Let's see, let's move our sewing machine back. So 
something. My sewing machine <laughs> twisted up a thread there. Okay, there's that. So I'm gonna stick this one in my ephemera bucket because it's more Christmas colors than this one. And I'll stick this one into my tome. You can see how it works. And then I'll see you on my next video. I'll let you know how my soup turned out. So I'm going to go ahead. And I've been sticking like this pocket was from Camellia Crafts. This pocket was from, um, it's the double pocket flip from Gail. And she was inspired by Sue. Okay, we're still going. My phone just rang, and sometimes that'll kick me off. So anyway, that was the Double Pocket Flip by Gail and Sue. That was by Camille. You want to say hi? We're almost done, bud. We just have to glue this in. See, so if we glue it here, then we have room for a tag. So again, we have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and you can slide something in there. So we're going to go... Going to get this straight so we don't goof it up. We're going to go all three sides, but not the top. And you know, when I got these envelopes, I thought, "Ooh, I want to think of something fun to put, make a pocket or something with that." And this was quick and easy and fun. So should you ever find yourself in possession of some of these smaller manila envelopes, make something like this. Oh, I was supposed to do, oh, I did do that side. I did. Okay, so I'm just going to come here, stick it right there. Hopefully I'm not off camera too much. I adjusted for the sewing machine. It's real overcast today. It was pretty chilly when I took Max for a walk. It's 45 right now. It was 43 when we walked. So compared to a lot of places, that's not cold. But And then I can put on here that this one was my idea. So I like to give credit where credit is due. And feel free to use this, please do. Um, so as you can see, you've got spot here to put in a nice tag. Maybe we'll make a tag later. You've got this pocket. You've got this pocket, which is separate. And then you've got another pocket right here. So you've got one two, three, and four pockets out of one six by nine manila envelope. All right, you guys, if you like this idea, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Ring that notification bell so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you in my next video. Take good care. Bye.